you all know what this is. It's a public bus worth up the 7,500. They carry people all over the cell every day. I'm guessing most of you have been on one. Then, what about this bus? Or this bus? Do you notice anything different? Jimin is one of the 5.1 million people who use the public bus. At the bus stop, she listens carefully to the bus stop announcements to know when her bus will arrive. But with all the noise, this can be difficult. Jimin's bus is coming in, but more challenges lie ahead. She now has to figure out where her bus has stopped. Not an easy, not an easy task, especially when several buses arrive at the same time. Jimin walks up to one of the buses to check the bus number. But before she can check, the bus, the door closes and the bus leaves. After several tries, Jimin is finally on the bus. Inside, it is packed and noisy. Again, Jimin tries hard to listen to the bus station, to the bus announcements to know when to get off. As you can see, using the bus is a, ma is a major battle for people like Jimin. But the options are limited and she has to go through the same trouble every time. Maybe this, maybe this explains why only 21.1% of the blind population use the public bus in 2019. The number of bus users with vision impairment is significantly low compared to other forms or disabilities. The number is in stark contrast to the number of blind people who wants to use the public bus. This is an online public petition for 2019. It reads, please make, pub make public bus more accessible to the blind. So why is it so difficult for people like Jamin to use the public bus? According to Seoul Institute, the main problem is insufficient information. Basic information like where the bus stop, when the bus arrives, when they get off, when to get off, are crucial for people with sight loss. But the information is often lost on them. What if there was an app that gives blind all the basic information they need exactly when they need it? An app that is easy to use to give information in real time. A personal bus guide that makes sure the user get to their destination safe, safely and without too much hassle. Introducing Tabong, a real-time bus information app for visual empire that easy to reliable to use. Let's take a look. This person is using the Tabom app to catch the bus. He turns on the app at the bus stop, then selects the departure and arrival stops. After setting the information, the user can put his phone away. The alarm goes off. Looks like his bus is about to arrive. The bus is coming in. But wait, there are three buses coming in at the same time. The user turns on the camera. He takes a photo of the bus to check the bus number. The app checks that the user is safely on the bus. If the user misses the bus, a window automatically pops up so the user can book the next bus. If the user misses the audio announcement inside the bus, the app informs him exactly which stop he is currently at. This is his stop. The app checks whether the user got off the bus safely. If the user misses his stop, the app informs him to get off at the next stop and automatically resets the route so that he can get to his intended destination. Countless missed buses. Being frustrated at bus stops. Not knowing when to get off and feeling lost. With Tabong, these are now things of the past. Of course, 
All good things must be shared. But his friends is having trouble making out the information on the screen. No problem. Simply go to settings and select a different color contrast. Much better. Yes. <laughs> Over the past two weeks, we conducted a prototype test on a group of users with infrared vision. We asked them to rate EBSCI feature on a scale of 1 to 5. Tabum received a rating of 4.7. Existing app got a rating of 2.6. Based on our analysis, I pay attention users who take the public bus 15 times a month on average with uses 31 times a month with the help of Tabung. Our main target user are those with low vision, who make up 80% of the 250,000 brain population in South Korea. However, with our voiceover function, even the free brain user can navigate their way on a bus. We are Team Omnibus. I'm project manager Kim Ah-in. Kim do Yeon is the iOS developer. Kim yoon gun is in charge of offline marketing. Yeon cha hyun is our online marketer. Since 2021, we have seen dozens of protests new our school on Subway Line 4. We naturally became interested in a mobility ride of the disabled. Over the last 18 months, we have met with dozens of people with them paired with vision to hear their side of the story. For them, the struggle is real. All because their basic rights are not guaranteed. For us, what started as a school project has become much more personal. The people who have shared their stories with us and encouraged us from day one I the reason why this app it exists today. Our project is now coming to an end and the four of us will go our own ways. But every time we are on a noisy crowd on bus, we will think of the people who may not see the world quite like we do and hope they reach their destination safely. The word bus comes from the Latin word omnibus, which means for all. We believe that the stable mobility for the blind begins with tabum. Thank you.